Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 19th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have ended with the concept of data modeling. And in today's class, we will talk about the DAX, which is fifth step of the process of report making. And I have received many queries that, sir, we are not good in DAX. We have to more focus on DAX. Or few people say, sir, I am not able to understand. Please clear with the concept. And many of the interviewers ask question on the basis of DAX. So no need to worry about guys. We will learn step by step and I will clear all your doubts. And I guarantee you, if you can follow this series in a sequence, so you guys can easily understand each and everything about Power BI. So in today's class, we will study about basic knowledge of DAX. So question is, what is DAX and why it is more important in reporting? So DAX stands for Data Analyze Expressions which simply means we need to enter some function or you can say some formulas to perform calculations or analyze the data in reporting. Like in Excel, Excel user used formula in Excel to performing calculation. So in very similar way, we guys use perform calculation on the basis of DAX. So here guys, we have two types of DAX function in Power BI. Measures and calculated columns. Please make a separate note of it. We have two types of DAX, which is measure and calculated columns. And measures are also two types, which are implicit and explicit. Implicit measures are those who are already part of Power BI DAX stock. And explicit measures are those which we have created by using DAX functions. I know guys, you are not clear with the concept with this statement. So no worry guys, we will definitely clear this difference with the help of practical. So let's start the practical. Firstly, we will talk about calculated column. So go to the data set. So I have added two columns here, which is quantity and price. And we have to calculate the total cost. So I need to multiply this price into quantity to calculate total cost. So we have two options to calculate new column. So firstly, you can just simply click there or you can just right click here and add from here with this new column. So I'll just simply click here for new column. And here formula bar is open like in Excel. So I am writing one DAX function here. First, I'll enter the name of the column. So I want my column header name is total cost. And now we need to put equal to sign. So please keep in mind guys, we need to enter equal to sign before writing any DAX function, like in Excel. In Excel, we put equal sign for performing any calculations. And then I will simply write my calculation, which I want to perform price into quantity. So firstly, I'll write quantity. So you guys can see it's automatically showing the table name and the column name, which is sales is a table name and quantity is a column name. So I'll just simply press tab button here. Now I'll put it multiply sign because we have to multiply quantity into price. Now I'll just simply enter price. Now we guys can see it's again showing the table name and the column name. So just Scroll down there and simply press tab button and press enter. And here we get the result. So we guys have seen we have used calculated column. After using calculated column, the new column has added with the calculations. So I hope you guys have clearly understood what is calculated column. We just simply perform our calculation with the help of new column. Now I will perform the same calculations with the help of measures. So back to the visualization page and go to modeling tab and here is an option called new measure and we have one more option to take new measure. So go to the field section and do right click here. So I click new measure here. And we guys can see formula bar has pop up. So I am writing here the same calculation. So let me write the header name first.
and now i will try to perform the same calculation so first i'll enter the quantity column name so here we guys can see power bi is not taking the column name like in calculated columns so what we need to do we need to use sumx dax function to perform this same calculations so i'll write here sumx and bracket start now here are two parameters so we need to enter table name and the second one is expression so our table name is sales so i'll write sales here and press comma and our expression is price into quantity so i'll write the column name which is price so now you guys can see we can see the table name as well as the column name and multiply by quantity and close the bracket and press enter now i will enter this measure into card visual so i'll take this card from here and drag and drop this here so we guys can see our total cost of the measure is 114k and now i will check the total cost with the help of calculated column so i'll again take this card visual and drag and drop here so yes guys our results are correct and one more thing which i would like to highlight so we need to go to the data set first and here we guys can see when we enter the calculated column so we have new column has added and once we perform the same calculation with the help of measure so no new column has added so this is the one major difference guys of calculated column and measure i hope you guys now have basic understanding about dax function so we can perform calculation with the help of calculated column and measures those who have already knowledge about dax it's really good guys but this course is for beginner as well as intermediate so i will explain each and everything in detail and we will cover up more thing about dax function in our upcoming classes so please stay tuned with us keep learning and please support this channel and share with those who really want to learn power bi from scratch thank you so much guys